Hello Aries, welcome to your mid-month update, Love and Relationships. Thanks for joining me. My name's Michelle and this is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. Aries, taking a look at your person of interest here and just finishing up the shuffle on them. So the person that is on your mind, the person that is in your energetic field, it could be a romantic interest, it could be a friend, a family member, but more often than not, it turns out to be a uh, someone who is uh, interested in you romantically or you could be interested in them romantically. So Aries, the person that's on your mind, uh, let's see what's going on for this person mid to late March 2022. And of course, if you're cross-watching, this can resonate as an Aries that you're dealing with. And it can, of course, be reversed energy as well, Aries. So let's get down the tarot here. <coughs> And uh, let's get into this reading for my beautiful Aries. Let's see, the person that is on Aries radar. What's going on for this person, spirit? If you'd like to join my channel, guys, uh, ways that you can do that, you can click on the join button or look in the box below for the link. And uh, you can get early access to the readings if that's something you're interested in. And at the top tier level, you can gain access to the extended readings here on YouTube. So uh, feel free to check that out and join my band of gypsies. I'd love to have you. Oh, let's put one right in the center. Let's not forget that. And uh, I feel like getting one from the fairy tale oracle today. So let's see. Message for Aries when it comes to uh, their love life here, mid to late March, for the fire sign of Aries. Okay, the rose elf. The Rose Elf. This speaks of revelations. Okay. <clears throat> it's number 29. Let's take a look here. So that may be a uh, resonant with you. The way that I'm feeling around this, it is about the truth. The truth. Revealing the truth. After a long time hidden, something coming out whatever was suppressed is going to rise to the surface it could even be some kind of karmic justice as well yes gosh uh, the tale around the rose elf well a bad deed but the main thing about this uh, this story i won't go into the whole story because it's rather lengthy but the nuts and bolts of it is that a bad deed comes to light and the sadness the burden of having done a, a bad deed falls away okay so you see what I'm saying now uh, that this girl here she feels like she's done a bad deed she's been holding on to it for so long and she needs to reveal it the truth here a revelation oh I did something bad I did something bad. Okay, well, let's see what uh, what this is all about here. I'm also going to get one from this deck, just to give us a little bit more insight. Message for Aries. What does Aries need to hear? Message for Aries. Okay, testing love. Oh, somebody tested. They tested. Whatever they did here, this bad deed, it was some kind of test. I don't think anyone likes to be tested, guys. Okay. All right, let's have a look here. Aries. The star in reverse. This is past energy. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. What I'm getting around this one is... I'm getting failure, uh, disappointment. It has a connection with this card, this revelation. It feels like a falling star. I'm getting that, a falling star. Star has fallen. I'm not sure exactly why that's coming out like that at the moment, but uh, let's push on here and see if we can get to the bottom of this. 
Okay, the Ace of Swords, this is this revelation coming out uh, of somebody who did a bad deed. Okay, the star has fallen here. Okay, it may have been somebody who should have known better. I get Aries, somebody should have known better here. They were in some kind of position where they were put on a pedestal, seen, you know, like a star. But I get this falling star. It, it feels a little bit like, uh, you know, when uh, celebrities, they, they, get, they get raised up by their fans and then they do something bad and they fall and then their fans become disappointed in them. I feel that that's the case here. It feels like a disappointment. Some you, uh, it's either you, Aries, that has been disappointed by someone who you raised up on a pedestal, or it's the other way around. Uh, Three of Pentacles. This is this pedestal energy. You know, in the traditional Rider Waite deck, if you picture that card, uh, there's the, uh, the the three figures there. There's one person being raised up on a on a platform they're doing the work the other two are kind of looking on at them admiring their handiwork so I feel like this is um, this is someone Aries that was around you um, you're working together uh, it could have been around your place of work uh, your place of business uh, this person could even have been some kind of mentor or guide or teacher somebody who should have known who should know better okay and six of cups in reverse oh, there's there's some i'm picking up some some foolishness here uh, some foolish behavior uh, somebody who hadn't I get a lot of immaturity now Aries that's could be you it could be the other person but uh, let's see if we can get to the bottom of this because I feel like there's one person here who should have known better they were in a position where they were raised up being seen in a position where they were it feels like a, some kind of authority position if they weren't in an authority position then at least they were a situation where they were imparting their their wisdom or they were uh, being sought for their guidance or being sought for their uh, their wisdom yeah and then we've got one person here who is a younger possibly younger than that individual maybe a little bit on the immature side um, looked up to the other person hmm okay so you you get to decide who's who in this equation guys uh, we've got that one person who should have known better and we've got that ingenue kind of energy somebody who feels um, disappointed by this star that's fallen Let, let's see we have the uh, two of wands in reverse yeah gosh again I'm getting this this feeling of this is someone that you met around your workplace or just um, yeah I get for some of you it, it's someone who you looked up to Aries um, especially if you're this this more this younger energy you looked up to this person uh, they may have been a bit older than you certainly old enough to know better than what happened here and I get this this person may have helped you in some way uh, supported you in some way uh, helped you help guide you help teach you something they may have even worked with you worked on a project and uh, the two of you got close um, you got close is what I'm getting you got close uh, this person may have given you their uh, private number uh, for access which probably felt really really good if this person is uh, someone who is uh, known or raised up in society in some way 
and we've got the three of cups over here so two threes uh, not really something I like to see in a reading guys in a love reading anyway because uh, obviously uh, this is a situation where there's too many people involved here uh, someone is a third party uh, it, it may have been a situation where I, I get that you you may have gotten to know someone outside of a, a working or learning environment or project environment getting to know them socially um, yeah it, it feels like um, going out socially with this with this person mm. The hopes here is, of course, the lovers, yeah. Well, and it seems like uh, there's an attraction between someone who is uh, older but not wiser and someone who is younger and maybe a little bit um, on the naive side. And I get that the two of you either are feeling this kind of magnetic attraction towards each other um, you know that has an element around this sort of something you shouldn't have like forbidden fruit I'm getting forbidden fruit here and Aries I feel like this person likes your free spiritedness they like um, uh, they're, they're very turned on by the fact that you're very open um, you're younger than them, you're, you're kind of opening up their eyes uh, to different lifestyle, different, different thoughts, different ways of doing things. Yes, so they like that about you, but there is an element here that they shouldn't be doing this. So they're, they're, they're either got a position in a working environment or something like that where they shouldn't be doing this they shouldn't be out with you socially or this person could even be married okay and we have the page of pentacles again i get uh, a youth kind of energy here a younger person learning um, this person's very attracted, but they also fear you at the same time. This testing love, testing love. Uh, it's okay. Spirits coming in here with a test for this person. Are they going to take this temptation? They're very tempted by this, this younger kind of energy. Are they going to... Are they... Are they going to go for this or are they going to be able to say no because I feel that that's something that they're supposed to do spirit wants them to say no to this to this temptation um, yeah but uh, that that accounts for the fear but let's see what the goal is we've got the Queen of Wands okay so this person actually um, Aries I feel that that's you I feel that they're very attracted to you uh, their goal that <laughs> uh, they, they they like you that they, they may even see you at like the gym I uh, get that they, they you may work out with this person um, maybe you, you you work out socially uh, could be that Uh, but yeah, they, they seem to be quite uh, focused. I get that they're focused on you, are very, very interested in you, uh, but you're a temptation because I feel that this person shouldn't be doing this. There's an aspect of the forbidden around this reading. A test here, a test. Okay, what's being avoided? We've got the Ace of Pentacles. It's come up in the reverse. Well, this could be the loss of a job. It could be the loss of a uh, a source of income. I get that. 
this person could lose their job or they could uh, have some kind of uh, problem with with income with a source of income if they if they become lovers here because there's this this something here where they they shouldn't be doing this it's it's bad it's bad uh, they're, they're very attracted and they, they want this, they want to be able to do it, oh my god, yes. But they really don't want to have any consequences as a result. Okay, uh, for some of them they've already done this, for some of them they've already become uh, lovers with you, Aries. Uh, and now they're fearing some kind of a repercussion. Uh, this coming out, this uh, revelation, that's just for some. Oh, let's see what's happening in the environment. Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. Hmm. Oh gosh, I, I get like a, oh, oh. Oh, okay. I feel that this is someone around them. I don't feel it's you, Aries. It, it feels like another person. Um, it could be a family member. It could even be an ex. But there's someone around them who uh, doesn't want this, doesn't want this. Okay. We'll have to see where that one goes. And uh, other people, we've got the Two of Cups. Guys, I feel like this person loves someone else. Oh, oh. Oh, okay. Ah. Yeah, I feel like this person has, they, they either, they're already in a relationship and then they, they love their partner or they want to go back to, to an ex. Guys, we've got the Six of Wands here as an action to be taken. What I'm getting around this person is that they, they, they're going for the win. Uh, they're going for the the kill shot. They're going for they're going for the win. Mm, have to see. And what's hidden here is the five of cups in reverse. It's something that they did. Uh, there's regretted action. Okay, for a lot of them they've done this. I feel that they've been lovers with with someone who they shouldn't have been lovers with. They they're in love with somebody else. I feel like, gosh, I feel like this is going to come out, uh, all of this is going to come out, it's going to be a revelation uh, to you Aries that this person is in love with somebody else. And uh, now they're this fallen, this revelation here, this fallen star. Uh, it's like you, you raise this person up and then Everything has come crashing down here. Your dreams have come crashing down. Because come to find out there's somebody else in the picture here that you didn't know about. And you were a third party or they just considered you a third party. But you, the problem is you seem to be around this person's work or their workplace or there's some kind of element here where this person's now very concerned about all of this coming out and what are going to be what's going to be the repercussions of this. Whoa, Aries, tricky kind of stuff. But uh, what I'll do is I'll take this to the Vimeo for the outcome. So please do uh, join me there. And uh, we'll discuss. We'll discuss the uh, the outcome. Go much further in depth. I'll be clarifying as well. So please do uh, to join me in the in the extended, it'll be about a thirty minute read. And the link is down below. I'll uh, get a card from the Gateway Oracle though before we go. 
If you'd like a personal reading, you can email me, gypsyinsights at gmail.com, or you can go to my Etsy store, Gypsy Insights Tarot, and uh, purchase directly there. Please do take a moment to press that thumbs up button, guys. It really is super important for my channel. Drop me a comment down below. Let me know uh, what's going on for you in uh, March. And of course, if you are a newcomer, I'd love to have you subscribe. Please do consider hitting that notification bell. I've got my 2022 year ahead forecasts out. Those are up and running. The link is down below. Awakening ancient wisdom. Yeah, okay. So this person's waking up. Uh, waking up to themselves, waking up to uh, who they love, who they are in love with. And it seems like um, this person here, Aries, I get that they have tested. They've tested the waters. Uh, they've tested who they really feel love for. This person, yeah, I feel like they've 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 been thinking they've been in love with two people. They didn't know which one they were truly in love with, so I feel like they were testing both of these people. I feel like they've tested both of you, and now they they're they know they seem to know uh, who they're in love with. They this wisdom that's come within uh, something that was suppressed becomes known. And uh, then they realize that they've done something very bad. Well, to, to both of you, honestly, uh, to the person that they found out that they truly love and uh, someone who has been in, in the middle here, like a, I get a lover, but it's a lover that they shouldn't have even. It's because uh, it seems to be around, around their work or around... Uh, yeah, it, it, it feels like it's an unhealthy relationship or an inappropriate kind of relationship that's conducted outside of a, of a partnership that is true. Uh, something that was destined in the past but didn't work out uh, because of them testing, testing that, testing the connection. So Aries, let's talk about this in the extended. I hope that you join me there. The link is down below in the description box. Wishing you the best. If I don't see you in part two, I'll speak to you again very soon. Please take care and bye for now.